Come on, Salty. Oh, come on now. Oh! Cornwell. Rip the entire front of this entire enclosure off. $30,000 kid. I have anxiety about it now. I hope when I come back, this thing isn't completely destroyed. <laughs> Today, we're finally fixing Salt and Pepper's enclosure. But unfortunately, that means we have to get them out first. Come on, Salty. Oh, come on now. Why do you gotta be that way? Salt, we're not eating. Salt's the easy one. And she still gave me a little bit of problem. Probably won't like this very much. It won't be long. We'll get this fixed up and get you back in no time. Now, the one I'm not looking forward to is Pepper. 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 I'm already salt. Me too. Well, let's get bad then. This is well. Uh, <laughs> come on, Pepper, Pepper, no! Yeah. Oh, oh no, I said behind I think tree. she got behind the tree. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. Yeah. It's a little water, no big deal. It's so violent, even the GoPro fell off. Should be some fun footage. Did you get them out already? I can put it back in. No, thank you. How wet's the floor? <laughs> Come on, Deputy Mike. <laughs> well, Noah's cleaning up out there because I don't want to have to clean up. Hi, Drogi. How are you, buddy? Did you see that whole salt and pepper thing go down? It's crazy. Now it's about getting everything out and uh, getting this thing drained so that we can rip the entire front of this entire enclosure off. I'm pretty stressed about this, I'm not gonna lie. That's all we told you how to measure things now. The package says six inches. These are not six inches. If anybody knows, Mike knows how to make not six inches work. Look, if you put two and two together, six inches. Today is a great day at the Red Theater. How dumb would it be if I did? I'm just saying, this is how I dumb would be. English, Mike. Are you, I didn't know you were from the, New, New Orleans. Orleans. I didn't know you were from Louisiana. All right, so now we have to suck all the water out, get this thing drained up. We got it all drained out and ready to go, but you guys have seen me try to fix this thing multiple times. Wow, geez. wow that was close. Well, let's just see what we can do. First off, I gotta tell you, we're high as a kite in here because <laughs> holy moly, the fumes. We gotta get out of here. You can see the black seal, you can see the silicone, you can see all my repairs. I don't think I could do this alone. So I have to bring in some professional backup. This is Ed the Pond Professor. I'm gonna put a link in the description to all his stuff. Let's get this thing started. So Ed, I've gotta be honest with you. I have a little bit of anxiety about tearing apart my $30,000 cage. <laughs> oh. what, what are we doing here? $30,000 cage. I have anxiety about it now as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no pressure or anything. We were here last time. Yeah. We went in the side, we kind of looked at it and I noticed the connection between the filter was just silicone in place. What I brought in place was a actual gasketed material with a series of bolts. So now we could have a good solid compression joint which is going to be much better. But what do, we do, what do we have to get out of here? We have to pull that forward a little bit. That top part is going to have to come up but that is just silicone here on this side. So what you're telling me we're going to have to pull this apart. We're pulling this right, yeah. <laughs> It's all right. I'm gonna go cry a little bit right now. Back at you with my friends over at Factor. I absolutely love how easy and simple they make my meals. Cause you know, after long days, I don't have a lot of time and they make it super easy. Today we have the option of tostada bake. There's honey mustard chicken, creamy Dijon pork tenderloin. I think I'm going with the honey mustard chicken. It's absolutely so easy. It's amazing. This new year you have new goals and Factor is here to help you achieve every single one of them. Save time and have the energy you need to tackle everything on your to-do list with Factor ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. No matter what your lifestyle, Factor has the meals to help you live the fullest with keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggies, and protein plus meals on the menu each week. Prepared by chef and approved by dietitians, each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long. Looking to cut back on takeout? Get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready quicker than restaurant delivered in just two minutes. Achieve and maintain your goals this year with Factor. 
Factor. Get America's number one ready to eat meal kit and start saving time, eating well, and living your best year ever. Head to factor75.com slash BrianB60 and use code BrianB60 to get 60% off your first Factor box. And now my favorite part, I tell you what, it took me two minutes to make this meal. Oh, that is really good. And now you can head over to factor75.com slash BrianB60. Use the promo code BrianB60 to save 60% off your first Factor box. Oosh, yeah, there's a lot of gook on top of that. Oh yeah, he put that on there real well. I was looking for the seam. I'm like, there's gotta be one here somewhere. And there it was. That's what I needed. That's what I was hoping for right there. There she is. One piece now. Wow, I've never seen it look like that before. Now, this is actually molded directly to it. I want to keep this because this is actually attached to the filter body. So I'm just going to try to get the area where we have to work. Yeah. I get better eyes inside of this to see. I was able to find the edge of the filter over here. So now I came in with my sawzall, made my first cut, try to loosen up this lip here that's creating the waterfall. I'm gonna continue working along, do the same thing on this side, and then hopefully I can remove this. water inside of here so it's definitely getting through the waterproof the first line of waterproofing it is hot in this box <laughs> i hate to leave because ed is just getting into this but i have a really important meeting i cannot miss i hope when i come back this thing isn't completely destroyed it sounded like it went a little deep <laughs> not <Nope>. good <laughs> different chipping away at everything, but I'm still not feeling really this getting any looser. This was installed to last. I'm telling you what, I've got cuts in it. I've exposed the entire back, ripped apart the front. It still does not want to move. So I think we may have to result to cutting the entire piece away. I do have another faceplate if we have to come down to it, but I would like to keep the integrity of this. So I'm going to keep picking away at it, see what happens. somewhere. If I could expose more of that, I could just pull these screws out and I should be able to rip that whole thing off. I'm going to cut through that. I can't expose those things the way I want it. I'm going to cut through the face plate itself and hopefully hope for the best. Mess. Ed, what is going on? So, You're trying to get the, the flange has to go to there, right? It has to go all the way to here. So, so what was probably happening was that it was getting in here, huh? All right. This is water right here. This is all wood and water mix. You see the difference in the color? Yes, I do. We're gonna have to re-foam stuff. I do have some um, brownish rocks that right. I brought with. Okay. So in case we need to do that, or this is we'll, the landscaper we'll things, ninety percent, ninety percent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Yes. Yeah, so there's a lot of motions going through my head right now. Listen, first off, Ed is a pro. That's why they call him the pond professor. I didn't realize how invasive this was going to be, and I mean, this this is a beautiful enclosure. Obviously, we had to fix the leak. I'm almost glad I was in the meeting because I think I might have started crying if I was here when he was just cutting into this thing. Here's the footage of Ed ripping apart salt and pepper's tank. I don't know if I want to see this. I don't want to watch that. Can we put it back together? Not only, it's going to, I know it's going to work and it's not going to leak now because we know finally where the leak was. But the problem is, is that how's it going to look? Is it going to look good or better? Or is it going to look like Frankenstein? Frankenstein. 
a whole little pocket of water right in there. Like a cave, it's like karst topography. It's like it's eating away at it and it's gonna, we got little stalactites and things happening. This is a good sign. So pull stuff apart. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think this is a little bit bigger fix than a little can of Flex Seal. Ed is totally screwing this. <laughs> See, there's these little metal inserts in here. Those are mounted directly to the filter box itself. This one came off with the screw. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great job. Good luck. Beth, do you have any like liquor in your desk? <laughs> of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> Not a little nip, or are we tailgating in the parking lot? No, we tailgating in the parking okay, lot. Yeah. It's in the trunk. I'll yeah, get it. Right, I'll be yeah, right back. Tipsterchallenge.com. So the one thing you never want to hear in a project like this is, oh no, and that was what. It just is, oh no. To me, it didn't seem like that big of an issue, but it seemed like he was pretty concerned about it. I mean, I hope this works out because the problem is if anything breaks on the actual biofilter, we have to rip the entire thing apart and take the entire biofilter out and replace it. We're talking about two or three weeks probably to repair that enclosure. So let's hope this oh no turns into something that works out pretty quick. Ace right down like a block away. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm on there. I'm confused. <laughs> He's like, this is horrible. Do you have an ace hardware anywhere? Oh, we're good then. <laughs> Talk about an emotional roller coaster I'm on here. how we're getting this back on the ledge. You know, it's been about a year and a half since we first saw the first leak, and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. A year and a half ago, this moment was the thing that I was the most dreading, is the fact that if we couldn't fix it, I knew this was gonna happen, and here we are. But that being said, I'm glad that Ed is in there. I trust him, because if this was me, I'd have lost my mind by now. I know, I can tell you this much. Laura and I have been fighting so much, we'd probably hate each other. It's moving. Yes. I have movement. Yeah, you know, like it's Enough junk on it where it does not want to let go. And then you could have sunk it. Is there one more on top? No. Hoping for my moment of victory. I don't have it. So I got what he thought was the last screw out, but when he was trying to take that little piece off, that flange off, it uh, it didn't come off. It turns out there's one more screw that's buried on the inside, way up top. So just more uh, surgery, chipping away at the enclosure to hopefully get to the last screw. Two hours later. <sighs> Last one. Now we just have to clean this up and then I'm gonna come in, line up my new piece, cut the rubber membrane, get my new faceplate in place, and then we'll get silicone and we'll start bolting everything in place. We got the new faceplate. I checked it for fit, everything is good. So the liner actually goes in between in these between two. In between the ah. two, break over this one. Exactly, right, and then we put everything back together. Put everything over. I never doubted them. Honestly, Lori, I don't know if it's gonna work out. I mean, the things just tore apart. It doesn't look, I don't know how it's gonna go back together. So this is actually the flashing that's gonna get put on the, the flange there that is gonna go over here. That way if any water wicks back, it actually drips back down this, I get behind onto the wood and then drip down and onto the floor. So honestly, if we get this in here, there should be no way there should be any water. Now it's just a matter of putting things back together so that they don't look like Frankenstein. So Ed, what's this stuff made out of? It is EPDM, which stands for ethylene propylene diene monomer polymer. Say that three times fast. Ethylene dienine polyliptoid. What was it again, Brian? Yeah. It was uh, polyethylene uh, lyotropyl uh, <laughs> diacetate. You got it right. This could go on two different ways, depending oh. upon the different type of waterfall we're building. Oh. So if I do it inwards, that means I have to cut this in order oh, to put it on it. there. This time, I could just bolt it like this. And, and then, then cut it out. Yeah, I'll cut it afterwards. Yeah, I got two hands. Brian, what are you doing? I'm just fixing what Ed messed up. <laughs> he needs an extra set of hands. Do you have those? I, I have two. This One is second here. Out. Yeah, I, I look at myself as a manly man, and, and I do a lot of tool. What the hell is this? That this is... looks like an ancient artifact. This has been used by pioneers and farmers and ranchers for over 100 plus years. This is a fence player tool. You use this to grab and twist, you use this to pull out. We need one of these. A little bit of a challenge because we have some of this stuff still here. A lot of a challenge, I'm hoping. <laughs> make sure it goes up high enough. We do have to do silicone, but mm -hmm. what I want to do first is we're going to put in two screws just to kind of line everything up and then we'll kind of pull it open and then we'll do the oh, silicone in between. Saying, gotcha. right? We got it. Nice. That's one. 
So we got the two screws in that basically just sets this plate in place so that we know now everything else lines up. Now we're gonna put the silicone in to seal this in here so that it stays really solid, completely waterproof. Once this is in, it's, it's pretty much foolproof. There's almost zero chance that we can have water leaking. This is the last part as far as the leak goes. And it's a matter of just putting it all back together. Back up. It's actually pretty cozy in here, to be honest with you. <laughs> Trying to put the ledge back on. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yes. It's like a glove. I'm going to cut the same, but I'm not going to cut that part. I'm just going to cut this. Right there. Right there. And there it is. Pull this apart one more time. Foam in there, gotcha. and then push it, push it, so it'll lock it in place. How many hands does it take? Apparently five. And now it's all about putting it back together. Hopefully, it looks nice and neat. Let's we'll see what happens. All cleaned up. Last piece to go on, and then just a bunch of touch up. That feels good. And we'll get the screws on top, a little bit more foam in there. Press it. <sighs> My faith is increasing by the moment, starting to actually look a little bit better. A little touch up here and there, but we may be okay. All right guys, so it looks pretty good. I mean, once we actually seam everything out, I think we're good and I think that we're not gonna leak. So now we need to let things dry and then we'll seam it out and put water in and hopefully it doesn't leak. Dad wants the salt pond filled up. Oh, does he? Nice. Time to fill her up and see what happens. Now the way it begins. All right guys, so it's been about two, two and a half hours, no water, so we're gonna drain the whole thing and then we're gonna just gonna seal it all up and make it look pretty again. Time to seam all these, uh, I don't wanna say seam the cracks. Time to touch up salt and pepper's cage. And the last step is to get this tank filled up and get salt and pepper in. Could have happened like that. And look at how amazing it's looked. The waterfall, you can barely tell that we had this entire thing ripped apart. Looks way better than I expected. And guess what, guys? No more water on the ground. It was a big job, but hey, I'm glad it's finally done. Let's put the alligators back. Salt is getting so big. She's gonna be happy to be back in her pond. There's no doubt about that. There you go, girl. Are you happy? Oh. There you go, sweetheart. No, you're supposed to go back in. What are you? Whoa, whoa. I'm in trouble here. Get back in there, girl. What a silly monkey. I just cleaned the glass. If salt gave me that much of a problem, I can only imagine what's gonna happen with Pepper. You're okay. Come on, Pepper. Come on, Pepper. Okay, Pepper. It's okay. Off you go. And away you go. Pepper turned out to be the better of the two. You know what? This absolutely worked out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, I'm just a